Alright, so I just made a clean install of Windows, and what I did before doing so was that I put all of my pictures and things I wanted to save on my external drive. Uh, what I didn't realize was that these files I wanted to save was EFS protected from the previous Windows users. So, because of this new install doesn't have the certificates that the old user has, it makes all these files useless, because I don't have access to it. So if you still do have access to the users uh, folder or if you did a backup of it, it's, this is fixable and I will be quickly going through how you can fix this uh, in this video. Alright, so the first step is to figure out who is the owner or which certificate do we need to decrypt this file. So we will be firing up the command line. We will be running the cipher slash C quotation mark. We will put in the full path to the file. I like to copy it up here, mark everything and copy. And we hit enter. So here we can see users who can decrypt. And uh, this is the thumbprint for the certificate that we need to decrypt it. All right, so we'll save this. And actually for this video, we are gonna use another thumbprint that I used earlier. Uh, but just, I'll just put this window up here and we will pretend that this thumbprint is actually something else. All right, so the second step is to locate the, the thumbprint. So we will go into the users folder. We'll go into our user, app data, roaming. We have Microsoft here somewhere, Microsoft. We have system certificates my certificates and this is the storage of all the public certificates that are used by my previous Windows user so we should be finding this thumbprint in this list I'm actually gonna be looking for a certificate that is starting with 267C so I'll just be clicking my way through here to make sure that it exists and here we have it, 267C. We'll we will be pretending that this is the matching thumbprint. All right, so this is a good sign. So the next step is to download a tool called Mimikatz. And uh, we will find this by just putting it on Google. Uh, we'll just go to the GitHub uh, link. Uh, we scroll down, we don't want to build it, we just want the binaries. We'll go to the, re the releases. Uh, we have a mimikatz underline trunk dot zip. Download it. We open it, uh, and this is a, this is a portable program, so we don't need to install it. We can just drag and drop this x64 in my case to the desktop. We close this, and we can open the folder structure. I will put this here, and we have the mimikatz here. And we will open the Mimikatz terminal. Malicious file is not true. We will just run it anyway. And we will put it down here. So in order to export the certificate and its public key to a DER file, we need to run the following command in the Mimikatz. It's going to be crypto colon colon system slash file colon uh, quotation marks, two of them, and we will put the full path to the uh, certificate in the list here. I'll just put it in like this, and we will add slash export and hit enter. And we can see in the end, saved to file, and we can see that the file just popped up in our Mimikatz folder. So if I scroll up in this window, uh, here we can see key container. So this squid is uh, what we're gonna use next. So in order for us to find the correct uh, master key, we need to find we need to find the, the private certificate. So we will go back here to the Microsoft folder. We will be going into the crypto uh, RSA folder, the user. And in this list, we have all the private certificates that is uh, corresponding to the public ones. So that means that one of these files is going to be the key container. So we need to figure out which one. 
you can either loop through all of them and see which one has uh, the name that is matching with this key container or you can do as I did in my case. I was looking at the timestamp for the public certificate, the, the one I just had, and I was matching up with the file that had the same timestamp time stamp in this folder, and it was working in my case. So, for this, we are gonna be running another Mimikatz command. Uh, I will be opening up uh, another console, I will put it here, and we will be running the dpapi colon colon c api slash in colon quotation marks and now we will put in the full path to the correct private certificate uh, it's gonna look like this uh, and we hit enter so what we can see from this file we shows uh, we will scroll up to the p unic name and we can see that the name for the file I chose is matching up with the key container for the public one. So this is a match, this is good. We will now scroll down here. So now we need to decrypt the master key for this private certificate. So what we can see here is that uh, the GUID for the master key is the following one and the master keys are located in a folder called uh, protect so we will go back to the microsoft folder we will be looking for protect uh, we will go into the user and this is the folder that is containing all the master keys and as you can see there is nothing here even though we have enabled hidden files so this is actually by design from Windows because they are uh, hiding these by default. Uh, but just to show you guys that there are actually master keys in this folder, we will be uh, opening, opening up another command prompt. We will be changing directory to this one and we will be running the, the dir, wait, wait, go like this. Uh, dir uh, slash a colon s and here you can see the list of all the master keys that are actually here that we can't see so this is uh, matching up uh, e60f is matching up with this one so this is a good sign we have all the files that we need so what we need to do now is to decrypt the private key we will be opening up another mimikatz console I will put it here and for this one we will be using the dpapi colon colon master key slash in colon uh, quotation marks two of them and we will put in the full path to the master key file which we cannot see it's gonna look like this and we will add, uh, we need to know the password for the Windows user that used this. Uh, so we will do slash password. Uh, it's going to be like this. If you don't know the password, you could, uh, if you still have access to the Windows files, you could be looking up the NTLM hash, which um, it's, it's just the hash of the password for the user which is located in a specific file but I'm not going to be covering it in this video you just have to google it up yourself so what we can see here is that uh, the password was correct uh, we have the master key returned we have the SHA1 hash right here and this is what we're going to be using so I will just put in this window here so we will now decrypt the private key with the master key so i will be opening up another mimikatz console and i will be using dpapi colon colon c api slash in colon quotation marks and the path to the private uh, certificate the one that was located in the crypto RSA, uh, these ones. So this is the path 
we will decrypt it using uh, the master key and the hash we have here and we will copy it like this and hit enter so now we can see private export ok we have the file the pvk file was uh, created in the mimikatz folder as we can see here so all good so the next step is to build up the pfx certificate so i prefer using git bash for this i would recommend you to download it as well uh, this is only to get access to the open ssl command you could download the open ssl executable for windows and put it somewhere so you can use it within the the cmd terminal uh, but i prefer doing it this way so the first command we're gonna be running is the so first off we're gonna start with changing directory to the mimikatz directory so it's gonna be cd desktop uh, cdx64 all right so the first open ssl command we're gonna use is uh, open ssl x509 dash inform ter dash out form pem dash in and we're gonna be copying the name of our ter file paste it in like this and we're gonna do dash out uh, public dot pem okay we, now we can see the public dot pem file was created so the next command is going to be the open ssl rsa dash inform pvk dash out form pem dash in and we're going to be copying the name of our pvk file like this and it's going to be dash out private dot pem writing the rsa key and here we have it so the next command is going to be open ssl pk cs12 dash in public dot pem dash in key uh, private dot pem dash password we just go with pass bar dash key x dash csp and we're gonna use the official microsoft name for this so it's gonna be microsoft enhanced cryptographic uh, provider version 1.0 and we're gonna add export out cert dot pfx and we hit enter oh wait i did some some wrong here export out cert.pfx all right sorry uh here we have the file cert all right so all good still so now we have everything set up we just have to install it and this is super easy with just the search util command so we're gonna run search util dash user dash p and we uh, just had bar uh, dash import uh, pfx cert dot pfx and uh, we're gonna have a no chain and we're gonna have no root enter and this is it as you can see the certificate simp is already installed is because i did this like an hour ago already so i already made sure that uh, it is working as it's supposed to uh, so now all you need to do is go into your folder with the encrypted files and you could uh, view them uh, but for this example we used another certificate so these specific examples right here we cannot see but uh, normally you would so the thing you might want to do now is just right click it go to properties advanced and you want to uncheck this encrypt so it doesn't happen again or 
if you want to back up your certificates for the future. Alright, that's it. Good luck.